In a setting far from what was the tradition at media briefings like this, the Information and Culture Minister, Lai Mohamed, explained that the setting is in compliance with the social spacing directives of the federal government. And making his point, he frowned at a position that has been taken by some religious and political leaders, saying that at this stage of Nigeria's effort in containing the spread of the virus, government needs the cooperation of all Nigerians. He stressed that all those who have come in contact with anyone who has tested positive to submit themselves for proper check. For those who will not cooperate by submitting to the authorities as required, the government will use all lawful means at its disposal to trace and bring them in. The biggest assignment for us is contact tracing, to find all those who may have come into contact with those who have the disease. The minister, however, dismissed the notion that the disease cannot affect Africans, explaining that no one is immune to the virus, citing New York as having 54% of its infected patients within the ages of 18 and 49. While Nigeria, the minister said, has refused to succumb to panic in tackling the disease, a number of steps have been taken, including travel restrictions on 15 countries with more than 1,000 cases of COVID-19, suspension of issuance of visas on arrival, cancellation of visas issued to nationals of affected countries, shutdown of its international airports, reduction of fuel price, credit of 1 trillion naira as announced by the Central Bank of Nigeria, among others. On fake news, the minister called for caution. An audio recording that is being circulated on the social media, especially on WhatsApp, has made some bogus claims, including that Nigeria is seeking to buy used protective gears from China waiting for money from the World Health Organization before doing anything. That Nigeria has no funds to tackle the disease because the foreign reserves have been exhausted and funds stolen. That Nigeria is understating the figures of those infected, etc. This is a most irresponsible, inaccurate, and definitely orchestrated job by a charlatan and should be discarded by all Nigerians. With Nigeria recording its first death as a result of COVID-19, Laya Mohamed assured that the federal government is committed to containing the spread of the disease as it is on top of the situation. In Abuja, Anthony Forson, NTA News.